What's up YouTube, I'm Corey and today I have the head-to-head -head comparison between the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S on AT&T, testing to see if the iPhone 4S is truly faster on AT&T's 3G network. The iPhone 4S is able to use two antennas and can theoretically double the maximum HSDPA data speeds of 14.4 megabits per second. Taking a look at the design of the iPhone 4S, it looks identical to the iPhone 4 except that the antennas have been shifted around the phone instead of where they were placed before. In this test, the black iPhone is the iPhone 4 and the white iPhone is the new iPhone 4S. Now moving on to the speed test, let's see if the iPhone 4S actually does provide faster data speeds. In the first round of tests, I did a test where I loaded a few web pages including Yahoo, Apple.com, and Engadget. And generally, the iPhone 4S loaded two seconds faster than all the other web pages. It's really easy to see on the Apple.com one. It loads about two seconds faster than the iPhone 4. And on Engadget, it's also pretty clear that the iPhone 4S wins again. For my second round of tests, I used a speed test application on both the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4. And if you notice right off the bat, the ping on the iPhone 4S is two times as fast as the ping on the iPhone 4, which will give you a more reliable download. And it will make your downloads more reliable, which means it will be faster in the long run. And then if we look at our download speeds right now, the iPhone 4S is slightly faster than the iPhone 4. Nothing ground shattering, but it is a little bit more just to notice that, and our upload speed is actually slower. And if we look at our results, the ping on the iPhone 4S is faster than the iPhone 4, and the download speed is slightly faster, not too much of a difference, and the upload speed is actually slower. Now if you're watching this video and planning on upgrading because of the data speeds on the iPhone 4S, and you're on an iPhone 4 right now, I would say don't upgrade just because of the data speeds. I'd say wait for the iPhone 5 maybe. But if you're on an iPhone 3GS, I'd say it's perfect time to upgrade, it's fast, but don't upgrade just for the data speeds because it's not fast enough just yet. That wraps up the speed test between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and you'll see more iPhone 4S videos coming your way. If you missed my unboxing video, you can catch it at the end of this video and I will link you to that. If you want to follow me on Twitter, all my links are below. Thank you for watching, the iPhone almost fell, and I will see you in an upcoming video. Bye-bye.